Okay, great, thank you. Thanks for having me. So my name's Dawn Telsha. I was born in the Wirral and the vast majority of my life I've worked in the Wirral. Um, I'm currently in a role of Managing Director at Tramia Rovers Football Club alongside setting up my own company, which is called Lift, which I'll come on and explain a bit more detail. Before I go into sort of description of what I'm doing now is, is just a bit of background on, on me growing up and, and what I did. I was very conscientious at school and, and always kept my head down and, and worked hard. But what I found then is that there was quite high expectations on what I was going to achieve. And the worst question I got asked from about the age of 14 to probably 20, 21, 22 was what do you want to do? and what you're going to be when you grow up to use the phrasing and it used to really really stress me out trying to answer that question because I didn't have a clue what I wanted to do and I think the important message from that is is sometimes people will have clear ideas and they'll have a career path they want to follow and it's about them getting the support and the experience and the relevant qualifications to do that but if you don't know it's not a big problem because you can work that through as you gain further experience or gain further qualifications. And I think the role I've ended up in now is what I love about my job, if it's very broad. And I think that's been based on the fact that I didn't have a clear description or I want to be this or I want to do that. So currently working in football is very interesting. A lot of my work is not directly related to what's on the pitch. It's more related to the organisation and helping it grow. So that involves education, it involves community, it involves retail, it involves commercial activity. And so really, really mixed. And I've been fortunate to have a really good run. I've had six years at Tranmere. Prior to that, I've always done a variety of different work. But I think the important bit for me in terms of what I do has always been, I've always wanted to make a difference. So work in an environment where every day I kind of feel that purpose and, and what I'm doing is important, which is why I've gone on to set up a business called Lift because what Lift's focusing on at the moment is helping young people find their first employment opportunities, predominantly through the Kickstart scheme or those that are maybe in an environment or with an employment that doesn't really suit their skills or aspirations of what they want to achieve. And I think it's important for me because I um, my first job was around sport and I absolutely loved sport, I still do. So at that age, I thought, right, well, I'm gonna work in sport. And it was brilliant. I worked in sports development, I focused on supporting people with disabilities and I got to learn and see and and change so much but then I reached a point where there's a lot of financial difficulty going on around 2008 and I thought I don't know whether I've got long-term security and I think that's the important bit from employment and working is have you got that security so I made quite a transition into broader project management and it was a bit of a jump at the time I went to work for a local authority and I was giving up kind of what was my passion and sort of what I was interested in. But I just wanted to enhance my skills and, and look at something long term. And it was the best move I've ever made because I, there's no way I'd be fortunate enough now to be managing director of a football club if I hadn't made that jump. And there's no way I'd be in a position to, to open my own business. So in terms of that first job, it was fantastic and I loved it. And I've done so much voluntary work to get that opportunity because it was a very competitive field and, and loved it and learned a lot from it. But where I am today, probably, let's say, was that leap of faith and, and being able to adapt skills I had. I think it's important sometimes that when you go into a certain sector, such as sport or retail or hospitality, is it's important to reflect what then transferable skills are. So you might have skills that are relevant to the role you're in now, but thinking, but so one of mine, for example, is I like to deal with people and I think I'm okay at it. So then transferable skills I've been able to take into other roles. 
And it's important that when you are in that first role, you do what, you're, what is your skills and what you're good at that makes you good at the job you're in. But then how do you take them on further into your career? So a typical day at work in the job I'm in now is so varied. I never know what I'm going into every day. And that, again, comes back to that transferable skill set. A big part of my work at Tranmere is people and making sure that I develop people and teams around me so that they do the best job possible to meet the plan, the strategy, the vision of the organisation I'm in. And the difference it makes working at a football club is you've got so many stakeholders involved and fans, local community, partners, funders. So the difference that I have to do is make sure that the work we're doing is high quality and it meets the needs of, of all them stakeholders and all them people involved. That can make it challenging because it is challenging having a lot of people's views involved or a lot of people's opinions and, and managing multiple tasks can be very difficult. And again, that's something I learned from quite a young age and it's important whatever role you're in is you're always gonna be required to multitask. So how you kind of get the skills to do that? Is that by writing to-do list? Is that by managing your diary? Is that by being very fixed in sort of task and finish? Is that by being having time out to be creative or, or whatever's the best thing to do? And um, the best bit about my job at Tranmere is match day because so much comes together and it's like this massive performance. And no matter what the pitch result is or no matter how they play, seeing community activity, seeing people at the ground and that buzz and... and feeling that you get is is fantastic and that probably is the best fun element of working in football and the job I do but what I love about the job is the difference I make and whether that's a young person on an education course or whether that's someone coming for support around their mental health whether that's someone coming for walking football or to join the gym is that I love the fact that that football club and, and what me and the rest of the team do is we make a difference to people's lives every single day. So the advice I'd give to people who are maybe looking to work in football is get a real understanding about the variety of roles. You know, football clubs made up of numerous people and numerous roles. And it's a bit like the Spenet Kennedy Space Centre story, if, if you Google that, and it's where somebody asks the, the janitor what his job is, and he says, my job's to put a man on the moon. And some people could look and think, but you clean or you empty bins or you make sure this is sorted. But the important part of that story is everybody involved in that space centre has one main goal. And it's the same at football club regardless of what your role is or what part you play, you are all fundamentally working to make the football club be as successful as, as possible. So if you are thinking, if you've got a passion for sport or you're interested, but look at football clubs in a broader way in terms of all the different operational elements they have and how that might fit your skill set, how it might fit your passions or how it might fit your career aspirations. Another key thing with football is try and get some voluntary experience. Working at a football club, I must get 20 applications a month on people wanting work experience or wanting voluntary opportunities or wanting an internship or wanting a job. And it's really difficult in football to make them stand out because we get so many of them. So my other advice would be is that if you do want to get experience, try and build some relationships with people in them sectors or uh, go above and beyond in terms of your communication with them to make sure that, that you can get that foot in the door. But yet just don't think football's all about sort of 11 men kicking a ball around a pitch because there is so much more to it. And then I think in terms of the stuff I'm doing now with Lyft, my main focus is to get as many young people into employment as possible. And we've got so many different vacancies that they can help. It's a big jump for me, kind of working on my own and, and, and doing it in that way um, without the, the structure of the football club. Um, but there's so many different lines of work 
that if you are interested just just give us a, a call because what we're going to do is on a is meet with people on a one-to-one -one basis either over the phone or face to face because we can do it safely now and really talk through what your aspirations are